This is a pair of your typical Merrill hiking boots. They're a little bit beat up, kind of dirty, but structurally okay. And uh, these were just uh, three or four dollars at a garage sale. And uh, I priced them accordingly at uh, $30 and they took a couple weeks to sell. I just found this uh, yesterday while rooting around for some other items in my uh, unlisted inventory. My piles and piles of unlisted inventory. It's a little 8-track case. See the slots there? Obviously vintage. Made by Ampac. Pretty good shape. It does have a little bit of wear on some of the edges. So I just priced it at $20 and it took less than 24 hours to sell. This is a uh, big box of uh, hard shell eyeglass cases. I picked these up at a church sale quite a while ago and they've just been kind of buried in my dead pile and finally got around to uh, listing these 45. I've got another box. Of course I got these just for a few dollars. Some of them are uh, designer, Liz Claiborne, and uh, I think there's a polo in there, but most of them are just pretty generic. And this uh, big lot of 45 eyeglasses cases sold for $30. Got one more to go. This is one of those sales that make you go, holy crap, nice, especially after a slow week. Uh, a guy messaged me last week, said if uh, would I hold on to a couple pairs of these uh, prints Love God and Wendy Melboyne guitar picks that I've had in my possession since they were given to me by their road manager back in 1984 or 85. And uh, since I was given a gross of each, I've got quite a few. So I said, sure, I'll hold them for you. And he came through today, bought two pair for $200 a piece. Sometimes enough time is enough time. I've had these for a couple of years, I found them at a garage sale. They're model railroading handbooks. It's a three volume set. Good shape, substantial books. And uh, I thought uh, for a couple dollars I was gonna make out, but uh, after doing the research, I priced them at uh, just $30. And after a couple of years, I finally got an offer, $15, and away they go. This is a uh, Browning. Uh, shotgun case or rifle case. It's a real heavy canvas. It's a little beat up around the edges, but uh, I picked this up uh, last summer and didn't list it until about two weeks ago. It kind of got lost in the dead pile, but uh, it was uh, $3 and it sold for $40. Hey, jealous? I just got these for free, along with a bunch of other packing material. Uh, an auto parts supplier uh, says he gets this stuff in every three or four months. He collects it and he'll give me a call when he gets more. So that's a nice little pipeline for packing materials. $40 for the gun case. This is just a typical lever action wine bottle opener. This one's made by Seeker and it's made in uh, Italy. Found two of these at an estate sale last year. Uh, the first one sold right away, and this one just sold now for $25. They cost me a dollar a piece. I saw this at a uh, garage sale for a dollar. Couldn't pass it up. It's a TT Nodder Cup. TT Patent Nodder Cup made in Japan. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the embossed uh, TT Patent. But uh, these are quite collectible and uh, body. And it sold for $40, and it's going to Australia. This is a uh, wooden bike cradle. It's to be mounted on the wall, sort of in kit form. It's made by Nash Bar, which is a, a big maker of bicycle parts. I looked this up, and it's uh, no longer made. I couldn't even find any reference to it whatsoever. But it's complete, and I picked it up at a uh, thrift store at a uh, Goodwill. I usually don't go to Goodwills. Uh, but I was in the neighborhood and thought I'd pop in and nothing, just nothing. And I did come across this for $2 and I thought, well, I've got to make the trip worthwhile somehow. And uh, it sold for $20. I love auction box lots. You never know what you'll find. These are just uh, three simple little uh, still life 
prints. They're all these, uh, they're made by the uh, Reliance Industries of Chicago, Illinois. And uh, they're just in the bottom of a box. Had no idea I bought them. Put them up for sale and they sold right away for uh, $30, 10 bucks a piece. This is another stereo manual for a Kenwood KR3400. I do have the amp. I haven't put it up for sale yet because mine is missing these uh, wood sides. And I'm going to uh, go to the lumber yard and, and get some wood and make them myself. Sort of a little project. Uh, meanwhile, I think I've got that uh, in my bedroom powering a pair of speakers. Anyway, this manual sold for $20. This is a uh, Bang & Olufsen turntable cartridge. Now it's special just for the uh, Bang & Olufsen. You can't use other cartridges on their turntables. So you can buy a Bang & Olufsen turntable, which are very nice, very cheaply, if they don't have the cartridge. I picked this up for my Bang & Olufsen turntable that I picked up for $25. Bit of a learning experience. I ordered this, I got it for $75, and uh, ended up that the turntable really didn't work that well. So uh, I've got about $100 into this. I priced this because of uh, research at over $200, and just took an offer of $170 for this Bang & Olufsen turntable cartridge. This is a vintage early home electronic game. I think they were... Uh, playing off the uh, popularity of Pong, called the Electronic Magic Tennis Game. And for collectors, I guess they like this. This one doesn't even work. The motor runs, but it doesn't seem to operate properly, and that was described. And it's sold for $30, and it's going to Saudi Arabia. This is a pair of vintage uh, Sony microphones. They normally came with a Sony reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape recorder. And uh, these just came along with a bunch of uh, equipment that I bought over the years. And uh, I had them up for quite a while. Research said that they really weren't worth that much, so they must not be that great a microphone. I didn't test them out because they appear brand new and unused. And finally just took an offer of $20. These are the uh, super tweeters out of the uh, Pioneer speakers that I... Uh, Took all the parts out of and uh, these I had priced at $40 a piece and somebody bought them both and I sold them as parts not working because I couldn't get the ohm meter to get a reading on them I did do a uh, uh, audio test and I could hear sound coming out of them but uh, you know these are uh, for the very very high frequencies because there's another pair of tweeters that I have yet to sell that came out of these speakers, which a little bit lower frequency. But again, these uh, speakers were free on the curb, and I probably sold about uh, $500 worth of parts out of them so far. This is an unused vintage uh, photo album. It's sort of a, uh, I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather. It's embossed with this uh, schnauzerish looking dog. And it's completely blank, not even the uh, ghost corners left over. And this sold for uh, $25. It was just an auction lot extra. Another uh, Midland Weather Radio sold. Nice to see these finally going out, even though they're not getting what I hoped for, which was $25. This one sold for $20. I paid $5 for uh, five of these, $5 each. Uh, just before Christmas at the grocery store, they're having a closeout. But uh, not a lot of effort in listing and packing these. This is an old vintage uh, camera bag where I got it with camera stuff in it. It's a uh, Perrin, and it's called the Sportsman. I guess it could be used for a tackle, for a fisherman, I guess. But uh, it's in pretty good shape. A little rougher on the edges, but uh, it sold for $30. I probably have just a couple bucks in it. I found this five volume set of uh, truck shop manuals from Ford in a trunk. 
that uh, was at an auction and uh, I had peeked inside the trunk and saw all sorts of manuals in there but nobody was bidding on it and finally I got the uh, entire trunk with the manuals for two dollars and fifty cents and this set of uh, five actually one of them is a three four volume three and four book uh, sold for fifty dollars